Well, as a mum, you don't expect your teenage son to fall to heart disease. That shock motivated Leslie King to join calls for a total rethink of heart health policy to end a poorly coordinated scattergun approach across Australia. Here is Jessica Turner. Jermaine King was diagnosed with chronic heart failure a week after his 18th birthday. His mum was told her boy's heart was slowly dying. I still question why did it happen to us in such a young, healthy, young person, young boy, you know, yeah. And he was my baby. The footy-loving teen needed a heart transplant to survive. A heart did become available the day he passed away. He was starting to mature into our young gentleman and, um, yeah, we didn't get to see the, um, the young gentleman that we should have had. The Heart Foundation is calling for new national policy to help those with chronic heart failure because too many Australians are dying. It's a lack of coordination, a lack of information, a lack of workplace training and workforce training um, and of course we never have enough invested in research. Each year around 40,000 Australians are hospitalised with chronic heart failure. That adds up to 360,000 bed days which costs one billion dollars. For those living in pain a new national policy could also help improve quality of life. For sufferers, everyday experiences can be exhausting and overwhelming, even going for a walk, doing the grocery shopping and looking after the children can be a struggle. Many who've seen this firsthand are desperate for change, even to help others. Jessica Turner, 10 Eyewitness News.